Virgo, hi, welcome to your reading. These are YouTube general readings. Um, they won't always resonate with you. If you'd like a personal read that will resonate with you, my email's in the description below. Feel free to reach out to me with your time zone and your name. And I'll reply back to you with all the information and details for a personal reading. All right, Virgo crew. Virgo, I think last week a lot of you were like, the energies were crossed. Feel free to cross the energies if it, <laughs> you were like, you're like, no, we're the ones that got dropped. Okay, well, feel free to cross the energies uh, your way. But thank you for leaving those comments. Um, it's funny how your stories can contrast with tarot. And especially if you're Virgo moon, maybe these reads resonate just the way it is. But if you're Virgo rising, it could be crossed, right? Depending what your moon is. I feel like moon is always going to be the strongest for these reads. Because it's the way you're thinking, and tarot is kind of like a way that you're thinking, and it manipulates the way you're thinking. So I always say moon sign is going to be the strongest. And sun, just forget sun. We're doing Vedic. Forget it. It's not going to resonate. Okay. Eight of Cups. Here we go again with the same story from last week. What are you walking away from, Virgo? The sun. <laughs> uh, Knight of coins. Eight of swords, two of coins. Justice. Justice keeps coming out for everybody. Saturn's driving everybody wild. That Saturn uh, slowing down that Mars energy from October saying, Yep, yeah, see what you were doing? <laughs> You were wrong. <laughs> um, eight of cups crossed by the sun. You walking away from happiness. Sure. All right, Virgo. I, I just felt like saying, if you have Venus, Virgo, this may resonate for you. Um, I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but oh well. Let's say I said it. Are you happy? I said it. <laughs> uh, the sun, eight of cups, knight of coins, eight of swords, two of coins. In the past here, you got yourself out of something here. Some of you may have been stuck in something you don't want to be in. While you're showing up at the read is you're wondering if you should go out there and socialize. Yeah, I think so. I think it's time for you to get out there and socialize. Uh, definitely. Um, don't feel guilty about trying to balance out your life and sometimes you know even though people are good to us here virgo whew, sometimes i wonder if my tarot actually helps people or not because it seems like i keep repeating the same story for all the zodiacs <laughs> and maybe that's a good thing i remember what last week's read is rather than forget it but I feel like it's a replay on what was going on here. Some of you just want to leave something that looks really good on paper. Some of you just don't want to be with this. It's like it, it like being with this energy is kind of like you got something off from Walmart instead of going to like you bought a pair of shoes at Walmart instead of going to like, I don't know, like Foot Locker and buying the expensive new pair of Jordans, right? You got the Walmart brand shoes. Now, the Walmart shoes may last you longer, but they're certainly not going to make you happy here. And I, I think it's definitely getting out of your head here. Virgo, for some people, they may feel that maybe that's why I said the need to say Venus Virgo, because Venus Virgo isn't the most attractive energy. I think it is. Some people don't. Um, because Virgo, <laughs> Venus is like princess hospital nurse. <laughs> 
Uh, justice here, though, in the upcoming future. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely good because it's finding something that you can connect to. Something that you feel is justified that, you know, it's a result. It's giving you a result here. Eight, to me, is giving some sort of result here with the justice card. The ace of wands here is being hidden from you. The universe is kind of nudging at you, especially Venus dipping in the Sag now for you. You know, to move and communicate towards things that are kind of passionate, new beginnings. You may not believe, some of you may just honestly believe that whatever this has been served to you, that you're just being dealt that and you're going to be stuck in this energy. Now, if you have a lot of fixed planets, sometimes, I hate to break it to you, but sometimes, yeah, maybe that's what you're being dealt, you know. But Virgo isn't fixed. You know, but you do have the sun that is Leo, so maybe some of you in the strength, so some of you may have fixed things there. And maybe some of you got into this relationship, especially if you have like a Taurus moon or something, and you're just not willing to let it go because you know this is what you decided and you're going to stick with it, even if it seems like it's bad for you or that you're thinking about other things. Here's the Seven of Cups. For your advice. Yeah, look at your options. Look at... You have a lot of options right now when it comes to this love story here for you, Virgo. There's a lot of options for you. Do you stay? Do you go? Do you look for something new? I always see the Seven of Cups kind of coming out in your read here recently, and it's definitely, to me, it's not that you're cheating, but maybe you're in your head la-la land thinking about other things, and to me, that's cheating. Just kidding. <laughs> um, but the strength here in your hopes and fears is some of you already trying to manifest the end of something here with the sun, because this connects to the sun card that's being challenged here over the Eight of Cups walking away emotionally from something. This is connected to that in the hopes and the fears. Because both of these are sun. Both of these are Surya. They both connect to that malefic. And although it's not one of the most impactful malefics, it's still, it's a slow burn. And you may think you're in the wrong for doing that, but I do see Three of Cups here in the upcoming future. And that's, you know, some of you, like, you may have something on the side. I think it's time to let go of one thing here. And if it's not something that you have in the side, maybe it's just a way of thinking. You have the one, I'm going to stay here, or I'm going to go move with my parents, or I'm going to find a new relationship before I leave this one. I don't know what it is, but there's, like, several things going on inside of you. And I feel like two of those things need to be abandoned, and one of them need to be balance with this justice card here for you um Virgo, i'm sorry you're one of those signs that keep getting the same read week after week but i mean yeah i mean it makes sense so like and with those eclipses happening for you uh, you know i believe it's your 12 yeah it's your 12 i mean there may be things you're trying to release so was it your 12 no 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 that wasn't your 12 it's your first it's your second it's your second and eighth yep Yeah, there are things you're trying to release. There's things that you're trying to get out, rid out of your life, second and eighth. And there's this. Set. Oh, look, it's right here in your read, too, second and eighth. Two of coins in your strength and eighth right in the middle. Second and eighth. The eclipse is trying to get you to change something or let go of something, release something. If you've been feeling that, you know, I'd say reach out for a personal read for that. Not to me. Specifically, I'm not trying to self-advertise, but go ahead for me if you like. But I'd reach out to an astrologer or, you know, tarot card reader or something. Figure out 
what happens when you release this, how, how you move forward, you know. I can only go so far in a YouTube reading, right? And it's not a personal read. It may feel that way, but it's not. Uh, death, Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Yep, this is definitely... <laughs> when I say it's almost over, this thing, but it's just your thinking here is not allowing you to finish whatever this is. Your thinking's not allowing that. You're preventing the death here, but eventually, you know, something here is going to end for you. Not in a bad way. Not... not, not like endings but i feel like this is definitely you releasing it and changing accepting that change and once you've accepted that and you've released whatever this is that you're here at this read about if you should be releasing it or not um that ends a cycle and it's not here yet though it's not showing me because this is 10 9 and the death if it was 10 10 death it would be kind of like a trump and i'd be like yeah it's the end of a cycle, but it's not here yet. Um, you may be too afraid to release whatever this is. You may be thinking about it and overthinking, but still too afraid. And that's fine. Take your time, you know. Um, but again, that's the energy for the week for you, Virgo. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys again next week.